So I listened to the LA CD just a few days ago, and there was a guy on there that was a cabron. He gave you a lot of grief. No one ever gives us grief. Well, it was pretty hardcore. It was very funny. I love, I love when people, I love when people try to trick you. And for years, I mean, I've been listening for years, and people try to trick Abraham. And those are the very best answers ever. It raises the consciousness of the whole world from like 10 to 25. Isn't it nice when someone stimulates you to wanting to know something? This path that lights up beneath your feet sometimes brings a question first before the answer. That's still the path lighting up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes something will happen in your experience that you're for sure, for sure, for sure you wouldn't want to happen. But the fact that it happened caused you to launch rockets that once you line up with them serve you really, really well. In other words, just lighten up and start enjoying more and micromanage less and feel more and become general as much as you can and feel good and stop trying to talk everybody into understanding you don't defend your position anymore never mind how any of you got to where you are just be glad that you are where you are be eager about what's coming but try to stay as general about it as to keep yourself feeling really good about it you're all doing extremely well nothing serious going on here you know it's a little disappointing because <laughs> you think, oh my God, I've suffered so long for nothing. There's nothing serious going on. I would have thought there'd been a lot of progress from all this discomfort that I've been feeling. You say, nope, it was just discomfort that was unnecessary that you assigned to yourself because you didn't know better. But now you do. So I'm going to go there. Where? <laughs> to the cabron spot. Why? Because I want to know something. Ah. Come on, let's play. Yeah. yeah. No? We don't want to. No? Okay. The list of things that Esther makes, the people that she's going to come in contact with every day, don't you think that's a little bit of uh, setting up expectations and control? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want her to do that either. Oh, you don't? Okay. There's a difference between this determination of what you're going to do and allowing the path to unfold and when you make that jump when you start trusting your point of attraction which means you've practiced liking yourself in a lot of conditions when you've been practicing unconditional love which means you've been appreciating people who are not appreciated by most everybody else you accomplish a vibrational stability that then allows the path of least resistance to light up under your feet in such a way that it almost takes your breath away the perfection of your life experience but it's an individual thing for each one of you you see we cannot write a book which surprises you because there are so many that says do this 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 because you're all different the advantage that we have to you is a very simple advantage we know that you are source energy in physical bodies and we know that you are good to the very core of your being and that there's nothing that you can ever perform or do or believe that makes that otherwise mm -hmm. we know that source adores you unconditionally and that you deserve that adoration because it is unconditional and that in the moment that you become unconditional in your evaluation of self and others you will find that sweet spot of alignment that then will allow all the goodness that you've been asking for and that you deserve to flow easily into your experience and every day you're finding that to be more true aren't you every day more wonderful things are showing up in your experience and your effort factor is becoming less and less while your alignment factor is becoming more and more there's such a difference between self-motivation self-determination and inspiration you see the whole of you right here right now the whole of esther on that airplane with that sweet boy the whole of her she just wanted to lick his face mm. <laughs> he was so wonderful just so wonderful and he knew with no question her appreciation of him there was no way he could not know it now they met on a similar vibrational level in other words, she wasn't having to talk him into loving himself. He already loves himself. So when somebody loves themselves, it's really easy for them to accept your loving of them, you see. 
really good time, don't you think, mm -hmm. for a segment of refreshment? Thank you.